Welcome back Ninjago fans to another live reaction with Harry Harmony and this is Dragons Rising episode 6 and I'm looking forward to this episode. Why are you driving by? Oh, not now guys, come on. Oh, it's the t Sorry, I, in this neighborhood there's two motorcycle dudes and they love to crank up that motor so loudly, especially at night. Looks like the coast is clear. Sorry, that was random. Um, but happy Ninjago Wednesday, everyone. I'm sorry about that. I did not expect that. Um, but yeah, real life. Let's go. Uh, I've been reading you guys' comments about, um, you know, Sora and and Eren. Like, like all you guys that are, are saying about um, their abilities, like, it's all because of the merge they got their abilities. Somehow, I guess. If that's the explanation, I think I can accept that. Because in the last week's, uh, or not last week, but the week before um, episode, uh, with her getting the wind, like, I'm guessing, okay, then them, uh, maybe they're not related at all, like her and Moro, maybe she just got it because the merge happened, as she kind of explained. So... And again, like, we saw that merge from the beginning of episode one. It just went all over the place. So if that merge somehow, that, that big beam of light that just went everywhere, if it went inside of every single, not every single, but like, if it hit every, like, character in the Ninjago, like, world and all those stuff, like, or in the realms, I'm like, okay, maybe that's how they got elemental power, or some characters did, like, Eren, Sora... And now the new wind elemental character. So if that's the answer to that question, as I said before, I think I can accept that. Because I've seen that kind of story kind of plot before. And I think that was called, but I'm blanking at the moment. Oh, that was actually Legend of Korra. That was Legend of Korra when I think she released the Spirit Realm, I think, and something like that. And because of that, um, one of Aang and... Uh, or one of the, the, the kids, Aang's kids, um, had a, had, like, the oldest could bend wind. Was an airbender. Like, that was out of nowhere, but I think that's because when they released the, the it was weird, like, that was like a big, <laughs> kind of like a, something like a blast kind of thing, I, I guess. And people who didn't have bending skills had bending skills, like, if that makes any sense. Maybe, maybe not. In this case, with the elemental power, since there was no elemental power of wind, I guess, then now we have one? Is that the case? Sorry, this is a long intro. I just wanted to understand what's going on. But maybe I'll get more explanation when watching the episode. So sorry, I will not keep you guys waiting. Let's get started. Okay. All right. Bring it on. Let's see what you got for me today. More dragons. And more dragon hunters. Yeah, I, 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 I applauded you guys. I did not know you were coming for those dragons in the last episode. Leave it alone! It has feelings too. Why can't you fly higher? Unless these are just like... Hover. Or why can't you just fly higher? Come on, you got this! Come on! Yeah, Aaron! Are we interrupting something? Stabby, step, step. Woo! Is that the elemental dragon of lightning? Or lightning elemental dragon? Are we gonna get Jay? I thought we might get Zane today, but again, I... Been not been doing good with my t-shirt guesses. <laughs> I had like one or two successes. Not bad, Ken. You really should probably work on that. <laughs> really? Hey, crawling away. Are you okay, buddy? Hey, snacky boy. Okay, Wolfie. It's just a hologram. No, it's not. 
She knows something. Kai, come on, man. Kind of reminds me of Akita, just bigger and more robotic and more fierce. I mean, Akita was fierce, but in this case, it's like, oh dear. And less tails. I prefer more tails. Tails are cool. I agree, Kai. Is it? It's a bow tech. A digitally generated weaponized techno beast that drives a hard light. Hard light? Or hard because when I lived in Imperium, I invented the Ooh, old inventions coming back to haunt ya. Eesh. Jump up, kick back, whip around, and spin, and come back, do it again, and juggle. Return to Imperium, let's go! Or is this backstory? What was it, science part? Oh, that's you! Never mind, we're going back in time. And... Will you be something really important? Teacher. Smart. See, smart. See, smart, smart, smart. I call it the Fotac. This is just a prototype. When I'm done... Anna, this is already far more advanced than any of the other science fair projects. Is this some kind of a, a hard light? How did you do this? Hard light? I just kind of threw it together, sensing what would work. And I stayed up till midnight the last eight weeks researching and refining my designs until I got it just right. So not senses, do. just research. As intriguing as this is... We mustn't deviate from the mandated curriculum, as dictated by the decree of the Empress Beatrix. Oh, the good Empress! Cool. Keeping your family secure and productive, nothing compares to the dragon energy of Imperium. Clean, safe, powerful, and infinite. All thanks to the good Empress. Why is she mad? Or she's trying to look tough. Oh, yes. 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 Do you think Mr. Koenig would let me stay behind and keep working on my full tech device? Um, this is our allocated recreation hour. We have to go recreate. Of course, of course. I'm just excited about getting back to my work, it's all. But love allotted recreation hour. Me too. We are so fortunate it's been allotted by the Empress. What? What are you talking about? Hello there. I know everyone loves the Empress, but without your inventions, Imperium would be nothing, Dr. LaRoe. Green energy, carbonless transportation, anti-gravity hover vehicles. <laughs> and someday, I swear... I'm gonna come work for you at the Advanced Systems Lab. I hope you are not the way to remember you. I remember you. Weren't you in the last, like, couple episodes? With the weird... What's the word? Was that the same person? No idea. Like I promised, my full tech version 2 takes it to the next level. And you thought a light show was cool? Oh, Girl, you got tailwind! Hard light animal! And a fish is only the beginning. Ever wanted your own puppy? Yes. Do you need to feed it? Thank you! Nice! The hard light never deteriorates. In fact, the hard light is totally indestructible, so it can't be hurt or die. It's the perfect companion for anyone that might. Alone. There's no limit to the beauty the full tag can create. The innocence of the creativity. Congratulations, Anna. Your plans are hard to follow, but the results the are innocence of creativity, Your but used for evil when it's stolen or put in the wrong hands. This. Yeah, she deserves that. That's amazing. I mean, I'd love to see other other kids' advantage. Invent. Inventions, but use for mass destruction. I am so sorry, girl. 
That's cruel. Your puppy became a wolf. I mean, wolves are cool, but... You need the remote. That's what you need. She, I think the remote... Yeah, cut! That bounced off. But no. Go tell them you need the remote. The remote is the thing you need to... Control it, no? That's the only thing that can take it away is the remote that he controlled it with. What are you doing? Oh dear. Grant, what do we do now? I don't know about we, but I know what I've got to do. I created that thing. I have to be the one to destroy it. But how? I have to go back to Imperium. There we go. Aw, proud parents. We are quite proud of you, Anna. I know we don't say that much. Or ever. But we see now that your passion for your studies was all in service of Imperium. All hail the good Empress. Sure. So, I really am hoping to help the people of Imperium. The way Dr. Laro. Pardon me. My name is Dr. Laro. There you go. The Advanced Systems Lab. Oh, and we, uh, we know who you are, uh, of course. And you must be Anna. You know my name. The way hearing about some of your designs. She said that. It sounded kind of sus. Quite, how shall I say? Unconventional. Unconventional? Perhaps you can forgive her. She's just a child. She didn't know what she was doing. Oh, but I think she did. I think you knew quite well. And I must say, I am very impressed. <sighs> I want you to come to the Advanced Systems Lab. You want me to tour your lab? No. I want you to work in my lab. Uh, please tell me with in a good intention, not, not child labor, please. Sorry, I'm already sus of this doctor, or the scientist. Sora, I can't let you go. Excuse me? Alone. We're a team. Ever since the merge, it's been you and me. I think this is the first time I see her hair, I, I, like, completely out. We're coming to Imperium with you. Like, without the cat ears. Feel good about this. No. We're both still training. And who knows who you're going to run into in Imperium. We can do this, Lloyd. You punched yourself in the face this morning. <laughs> you saw that? But we've come so far in our training. And remember what you told us, Master Who always said? Um, uh, stop playing video games and uh, go clean your room. Ninja sharpens ninja. We're stronger when we work together. <laughs> iron sharpens iron. Point taken, Aaron. Brother sharpens, go, or sibling sharpens nice. sibling. Back in the bags. No, we need you to protect the ninja monastery sharpens. and Ninjago. What if there are more merge quakes? Brother Why? sharpens brother. You go have all the fun. So we're going. That was awesome. Impression going. by guy. <laughs> Second time you get punched in the face. I'm glad we're getting backstory of her. I, I was really curious about that. I hope she tries not to say like, oh, let's mass produce this stuff. The mass All hail the good empress. <gasps> a dragon! A real dragon! I can't believe you have one here in the lab! This place is <laughs> incredible. It's magical. Oops, sorry. Let me deactivate the protective force field. This dragon has long since accepted its role in our lab. It won't be dangerous. You sure? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Aww, you sweet thing. What's her name? Subject 152 stroke 9A. But some of the lab techs have taken to calling her Sora. Sora? The ancient Imperium word for orphan? Did something happen to your family, Sora? <clears throat> Please step back. <sighs> Anna, I must say that I see a great deal of potential in your digital pet device. And in you. You remind me a bit of myself at your age. Interesting. You? Interesting. With my guidance, I think we could take your simple photac and make it much more powerful. Why? Why would you need to make it more powerful? Child, the photac could be so much more than a mere pet. May I? No, I just sell steal this. What are you doing? Demonstrating the possibilities.
Really now, Anna. Surely a girl as smart as you understands where Imperium's energy comes from. Our dragons power our homes, our schools. Sure, everyone knows that. But our whole lives, we were always told our energy is safe. It is safe. For us. Now imagine what we could do with an army of these. For what? For to remain the glorious kingdom it is, we need power. The power only dragons can provide. What are you saying? An indestructible Botak army could hunt down every dragon in existence. It would provide Imperium with a never-ending source of energy. Our glory would be unparalleled. But so pride. What I, this is why I brought you here, Anna. Pride is a downfall. That's exactly what the good Empress Beatrix created the advanced science lab for. I don't want any part of this. You're as much of a monster as that that pig. <laughs> You should have taken it with you, honey. Mom, Dad, I need your help. I can't go back to Dr. LaRoe's lab. Dr. LaRoe just called. We are very disappointed in you, Anna. You have a chance to help the Empress Beatrix. To help Imperium. They're Weirdly enough, I, it just clicked to me that her real name's Anna, not Sora. <laughs> I don't know what my mind was going through. Her real name is Anna, but she goes by Sora, which I am not surprised as she has mentioned it's the it's the it's the word for orphan. Sadness, but at the same time, Anna's your name. That's so cool. I don't know why it just clicked now. So, uh, brain fart to the extent. Dragons are just mindless beasts, Anna. No, they're not. Are you really going to put some creature above your own family? I... We are ashamed to call you our daughter. Run away, run away, run away. Wow! Wow! What the heck? use your scientific studies to support Imperium. And all that we stand for. Then you'll just have to find a new interest. I believed in you! I thought you were making Imperium a better place! For every living thing! <laughs> so we can't just walk into Imperium. Why not? It's how we go to most places. I'm guessing we're wanted criminals there. I once knew someone who was arrested for singing off key, so I think actively fighting the claw hunters puts us on their do not enter list. Probably. It's a highly secure kingdom. There are guards at every checkpoint, making sure only the right people are allowed in. But who's checking what comes out of Imperium? Huh? Waste, garbage. There's got to be a sewage system that they aren't checking. That's brilliant, Aaron. I guarantee the sewers won't have any security. Ha! Ah, I was about to... This... <laughs> Whoopsie. Those kinds of securities, sure. Woo. Shh. Like I was hoping, this tunnel led right into the security station. I'll hack into the system, make us ID cards, gain access to the advanced systems lab, and boom, destroy the photac. Come on. Close one. Someone's Fun. coming. Hurry. I need your fake names for the ITs. Fake names? Um Jake. Doctor uh Lampshade Flortile. Your undercover name is Dr. Lampshade Flortile? No. Call me Doyle Dunlagar. That's with two L's? Obviously. Lloyd. L L O I D. I named you. <laughs> you used your real name? Uh, we gotta go. 
Well, her real name's Anna, but they don't know that. Brilliant! Hurry up and put these on. We need to look like real Empyrean citizens. You are a real Empyrean. We need to fit in. That's all people in Empyrean care about. Absolutely. Stealth is key. It was in the locker, so I imagine the Empress approved it. Ugh, she never had good taste. Ah, you. Maybe we should just keep you hidden in here. And... Yeah, I'm like, there was no way he would fit. Okay, Lampshade. That looks totally normal. Guess we're ready. Come on. Nah, Erin, you should go by Jake. Jake Lampshade, let's go. What seems to be the problem, officer? Gonna need to see your ID badges. Okay, yeah, you're free to go, Mr. Floor <clears throat> That's Dr. Floor Tile. Uh, you too, Mr. Don Megar. And Sora. Weird name. But okay. The good empress. Stop. You really thought you could get away with it, didn't you? I didn't. Not wearing shoulder pads on a Tuesday. Ah, the empress has declared shoulder pads are a must-have accessory for all citizens on weekdays. And this is not the weekend. Uh, that's new. And weird. Well, I have no choice but to take you to the public shaming platform. Oh, what are you carrying in your gold bricks? Yes. It weighs a ton. What's a public shaming platform? Only the worst form of punishment in Imperium. Anyone who commits any anti empress sentiment is publicly shamed in a live stream video feed. Huh, doesn't sound so bad. I put up with Kai's mocking for years. <laughs> you don't understand. The live stream is broadcast to everyone in Imperium. Our faces are going to be on gigantic screens throughout the city. The claw hunters, that weird tiger guy, my parents, everyone will see us. We're toast. That's what I'm kind of saying. Like, it's kind of exposing your faces, but yeah. So, punch him? What are we gonna do? I don't know. You're the doctor. We need some kind of distraction. Go keep him safe. Now's your chance. Go get the bow tack. Yep, way to cover. I'm guessing Anna will probably meet up with her. Okay, so it's not just me. <laughs> okay. Wow. Watch out! This prisoner is dangerous. Prisoner? Kai. The new prisoner? Kai, you were supposed to save the monastery. Could be Skylar. This is not Kai. Skylar? Who is it? Skylar? Why would no? Skylar would not hit Lloyd. I wish I was anywhere but here. Is this when the merch happens? Hey, this is when the merch happens. That was less dramatic than the first episode. Cool, that happened really fast. Hey, you got your wish come true. I wish I was a dutiful Imperium mom and dad. But I'll never be the daughter you want me to be. That Empress Beatrix wants me to be. Yeah, she should learn to smile, honestly. I mean, we're probably just singing her smile, but it's like an evil smirk. Ah! 
Hey, <laughs> come on, I want more. I want more. That was good. I will say that was an interesting, good episode. Caught me on my toes. Now we learned that Anna names Anna and all the fun and the stuff. Man, I have to wait until next week, until next episode. Oh, come on. Come on. Not fair, but fair. Oh. Well, guys, that was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, Some things I'm like, whoa. Uh, but we get to know Sora's origin story, which kind of made me happy. So the merge is what got her out of there, which is probably her, like, you know, thank you to, you know, like, her dream and prayer came true. Like, just right there, like, hey, we'll leave. Oh, there you go, merge. Um... But yeah, still very young, but probably, I'm guessing, I don't know if, if it was like the same age as Aaron. I think Aaron was maybe a little bit older, or he looked older. Um, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of curious to this fiery person, if it's since it's not Kai, I'm guessing like Skylar? Like, it'd be cool if it was Skylar, but I feel like I didn't see Skylar in any way like in trailers and stuff I mean of course we saw the right like the OG OG ninjas but we didn't really see Skylar or Misako or any of the other one it's not even Dareth like seeing like what happened to them in the like before the merge or even after the merge so that'd be cool if they came in honestly <laughs> I can't believe I'm admitting this, but you know, I'm kind of curious. So what would I, like, what would Dareth be doing when the merge happened? Like before, like right before the merge happened and after, like what is he doing now? Like I'm really, really curious. So that's random. I'm usually don't really like Dareth, but now I'm just curious what he would be doing with the merge. Ah! Love it. Well, guys, I really want to hear you guys' thoughts uh, in the comments section, what your favorite reaction was, your favorite part in the episode. I'd love to hear from you guys. And the theory of everyone getting like new now elemental powers because of the merge just exploding, like releasing energy or some kind of elemental energy into random characters, which kind of makes me think that, wait a minute, if that wasn't Kai, do we have another fire element? Oh, Kai's gonna be so jealous. But I'm kind of hoping it's Skylar. Like, I would love to see Skylar, but I'm I'm really having a gut feeling that it's not her because I feel like that, I think even if, I mean, maybe if Skylar didn't recognize Lloyd in that costume, I kind of doubt it, but if Skylar was, I think she would have hit, um, or I can imagine her accidentally hitting Lloyd, but actually attacking Lloyd, like, no, but I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. Well, I want to see. You, I will see you guys next week. And if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe to support it. And if you don't want to miss an episode every time I upload, please click on the notification bell down below so you don't miss every time I upload, especially Lego Ninjago Dragons Rising. So I'll see you guys next week for more Ninjago Wednesday. Hunger Harmony is gonna be out. But remember, guys, jump up, kick back, with around and spin, Ninjago. I just realized we have no mention of Zane, so this was this was not a good guess today. Ah, huh, it's okay, it wasn't really a good guess about anything, so I try.